What's the crack lads? Welcome back to the channel. We are back with our first V4.2 video. We're just fresh off a live stream. And honestly, this is just a recap of everything that's new, right? So the big thing with this one, this update, Captain Subasa, is a collaboration. You can see it there. We have a trailer, we've got new cards, we've got new everything, right? I'm going to show you everything really quick in the game that if you did miss the live stream or if you're just wondering, right, what's new? It's uh, Thursday evening, you're home from work or you're just chilling out and you want to see a recap, right? So this is the big one, that they had this Captain Tsubasa um, feature, right? Now, they've kind of extended this throughout the whole thing, right? So if you go in here to the events, you will see that they have this brand new event, which is a golden gold event in Dream Team, which is your normal squad. But they also have this beat the clock here. Now, we've completed this, and it's very simple. You literally just have to go on and score a goal. And as you, as you progress through it, you will get more uh, rewards, right? And I'll show you the next feature that they've added here as well which will probably look at things into the future. However, one of the biggest things in this is that, yes, your eyes do not deceive you. This is a brand new animation, anime-style filter with the Captain Subasa guys so playing in it, right? So now this is on the lowest difficulty, but I'll just show you a couple of the features. Obviously, when you score a goal here, you beat the challenge, and it will go into this animation here. All the players are animated, man. This is the collaboration that they've been talking about, and this seems to be the biggest thing for V4.2, which is a bit disappointing because the gameplay hasn't really changed. Now, we'll talk about the gameplay in a second, but that is essentially it there, um, and that kind of extends on throughout the whole thing. So that completes your match pass. There's a new match pass. I'll show you that in a second. However, one of the prizes in this is a piece of puzzle, okay? So you'll notice in here that we've completed all of these, but if you go back out, there is a new gallery that they've added as well. So we still have all of these new events, but... This is uh, the player of the week here. This is a new challenge which they've streamlined. You still have all your events here. Events are pretty much the exact same. Rewards, everything. eFootball League is the exact same. Rewards, everything. It's identical to what it was before V4.2. There's no new rewards. There's no different things in it. It's pretty much the same as we've been playing for the last year in eFootball League since they did the last change. Match Pass. Yes, it has changed. It's down to 250 for 34 days only. You will be able to get this at a half price, no matter if you've bought it before or if you've bought it never or if you've bought it uh, if you've never bought it before. There are the players, Sane, and of course you have um, the 250 value pack as well. All the same rewards are there. There doesn't seem to be any changes to the rewards, right? So what's actually new in V4.2 apart from the collaboration with the Captain Subasa stuff, right? Well, we do have the collaboration volume one. You get a free kit. I'll show you that in a second. You also get some avatars, the gallery set, the badges, and the players. So these are all the new players that they've added. But first, we will take a look at this objectives here and the gallery. So this seems to be a brand new feature that they've added. How excited you're going to be about this depends on whether you like art or whatever, right? I would like to see cards, that you build a card. Maybe eventually they'll go that route. You'll build a card. Once you've the six pieces of the cards done, you unlock the card. Boom, you get a legend, okay? That's where I think they'll go with it. For now, it seems to just be puzzle pieces or jigsaw pieces for art, for gallery, um, that you can hang up. But I definitely think you'll be able to trade these art pieces in for something. There's also some brand new objectives as well here that are tied to the Captain Subasa stuff and that you can get, right? So you can get free kits, you can get free jerseys, whatever, okay? So that's kind of there. Nothing else has really changed apart from what they've added here in the GP marketplace, right? So they've actually added this GP shop where you can exchange GP, right? And you can see here at the top hand of my screen, I have 9 million GP, which is quite a lot of GP. If you want to get a random booster token, it's going to cost you 210,000 GP, uh, GP. You get your random bo booster here. You can get skill trainers. You can get all of these. So we can actually get two of these for 500,000. Is it costly? Yes. But I mean, there's nothing else to spend your GP on, apart from giving legacy transfers or whatever. You can't spin for players. You can't trade up players. Nothing. So once you get that, you will have them added into your main squad and your main thing. So other than that, boys, there's not really new. They've made a couple of quality of life changes to the game. If you go into a player now, you can see we do have the new Mateus. I'll get to him in a second. If you press the options button now or the start button, they have it in here. So you can see all the player styles, all the abilities. Basically, they've added all the information on about the game into the player cards uh, menu. So they've added all of that stuff is there. Um, and it tells you how to play it. They've actually changed some of the play styles as well and how they've worded it and stuff like that and rearranged the, the, the order of it. Um, we did spin for Lothar Mateus and Rummy and Oliver Kahn thanks to donations to kick off E4.2. Um, I'll show you their cards in another video, but we did get them. 
And speaking of cards, the daily game is the exact same, but we do have new spins, right? So we've got a new Lampard pack here that you see there, which is the Lampard one. And then also we do have this special player list here, which is going to be two packs that are the same, but one will have the visual quality and the visual design of the Captain Subasa collaboration. So I reckon eventually, man, if cards are being able to be traded, these might be extra rare cards, right? So you have Fortress uh, Lothar Mateus, and you've got Phenomenal Finish in Rummy with Oliver Kahn there as well. I do like that the card designs are quite nice, but this pack is also identical if you don't want those designs, if you just want the standard design here. Um, we also have the J League, and then we've got European Club Championship Player of the Week, Worldwide Championship or Worldwide Player of the Week, and then, of course, we have all of these here that you're seeing. So we've got these centerpiece ones here. This is going to be the nominating contracts. I'll do videos on all of these, okay? So I'm going through them quite quickly to make this video quite short and all of the rest, okay? So that's pretty much it, lads. That's pretty much everything. Also, some managers have been removed as well. So, for example, if I want to use Klopp now, he's actually removed. So this was Klopp before. He's now gone, right? You actually can't use him. So it's, yeah, you can't release him either. So yeah, it's it's just something that they've done. They've also taken out certain players as well in the extras menu. Um, where is it? Is it information? No, I think they have even that screen taken out. Maybe I'm tripping. Sorry, boys. We've just come off a we've just come off an eight eight hour stream, man. So I'm probably missing something there. But anyway, but that's pretty much it, man. There's been no other talk about anything else with this. All they say in V4.2 is this stuff here, which I've already gone through here that they've changed the calculation of in-match rolls and boosters and stuff like that, but it's not really it's not really that important. And then they also talk about the new shop they added and a load of new data. They've also added a load of new faces, right? So, for example, here, I will show you right here. They've added the likes of Rafinha. They have a couple of other players as well, like uh, you have Gomez here with his new hairstyle. You've got Kelleher, the goalkeeper uh, from Liverpool. Salah's got his new fresh trim as well, uh, there, Diaz as well, he's got his new fresh trim, so they've added a lot of player faces, I'll do a video on that as well, I'm not going to go through all the players and faces that they've done, um, and that's pretty much it man, they haven't really added anything, they haven't really touched gameplay, they haven't touched anything like that, um, which is very disappointing, I'm going to do a video on it, this is just a recap for people looking for what's new, there's the jersey as well, that's the kit that they've added, uh, right there, okay? And then last but not least, we have all of these. These are the free logins, right? The login bonuses. So you got Leo Messi, right? As the Captain Subasa collaboration. You also have the Kubo collaboration card. You have the early update bonus, which is going to give you a player of the week. And we have all the rewards from the phases or whatever like that, right? So if you want to just collect those, you can get all those. You have the new shop there as well. And what I was saying to you about the penalties, right? So these are all the cards here. So this is Messi's card here. If you open it up, just to show you, I mean, when you log in, you'll get him. Uh, he's got the style there that you can train him up or whatever. The card isn't going to be that good. Same with Kubo. But one last thing to show you is the penalty system. So this is the penalty system with the collaboration. And they'll probably look to do this with more partners. So it is in the Captain Subasa anime style. They've got a couple of different animations here and a couple of different little uh, kind of like features of it. But essentially, man, you just have to score the goal uh, the same as normal. They haven't changed anything with the rewards or anything like that. So that's pretty much it, lads. Let me know. I'm going to be doing a video. Let me know if you were a bit disappointed. Let me know if you're happy. Let me know whatever. We've already covered some of the changes on mobile, but let me know what you guys think. And I will get in touch with you in the comments below again. And uh, I'll reply to you. Don't forget to subscribe. I'll talk to you later. Peace.